Welcome to the next episode of Waterpark Rangers Let's Play Wind Waker. Last episode, we finally defeated the great guardian of the Tower of the Gods. Um, yeah, and he led us up here on the roof. <laughs> we have exactly one arrow left also. How cool is that? So just in case we need to use an arrow, we have it. Um, yeah, so what's up here is a place you can only go to once, right now. The only thing that's really here, besides an awesome view that you can't see because it's just too high and surrounded by a very high wall, I'm just opening the charts in case you were wondering, um, is a giant bell. You will ring this bell by latching onto that section of the ringer, or whatever that part is called, with a grapple hook and swinging back and forth. Very cool effect. So it's kind of like a giant bell tower, even though it might seem more like a lighthouse. Well, really, it... I mean, what is this thing? It's like a giant godly tower. What more is there to say? So the ringing of the bell, like, summons up this light portal thing in the ocean. And then somehow we magically appear right there. Because we we're super fast like that. You have done well, Jack. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Jack? Now a very big cutscene is coming up. It's really cool, so I'm actually not going to commentate during it. Commentary will return after the cutscene is over. You are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. So by now, you've probably picked up a few strange details about this place. Number one, it's underwater. Number two, it's like entirely black, white, and gray. And number three, apparently it's been frozen somehow, but not really frozen because the water's still water, but it's not really moving, but the pressure is still there. So obviously there's some really weird magic stuff going on here. Oh yeah, let's just replenish on the arrows. <laughs> the items and uh, yourself, really the interactive things are still colored, save for the grass. It's very strange to see the grass just still like that, now that I think about it, I never really appreciated that until now. Like, usually when you're in the overworld, um, of the, like, the season of this game, the grass is always swaying back and forth, uh, in the wind, you know? So that's a little strange. And inside the castle, there's a lot more weird stuff going on. The enemies are still, too. So everything's pretty much been stopped. Probably in time. So, as you guessed... Well, they're not going to be able to hurt us, but because of how they've been frozen in time, we can't hurt them either. There's also some kind of familiar pictures, but that statue is obviously the more familiar one. This is where a lot of the story of the game really starts kicking in. It's very similar to some other stories, but it's pretty well done. Hey. Alright, Jack. I'll need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in this castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But... That entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You will find a clue in the shape of the herald near where we arrived at the castle. The 
The clue is also kind of at her feet right there. Yes, it's the recurring symbol um, throughout this series. Of course, this is the first game in the series that I really ever played. Um, you'll come to know that symbol is representative of a figure called the Triforce. So that's kind of like Zelda for beginners, step one. There is a thing called a Triforce. So how you move these blocks is basically you got to move them onto those triangle places. This is done by first uh, grabbing any of the corners of the block and then either pushing or pulling so that you can swing it the way you see fit. Um, if you grab it in the center, you won't be able to. You really are only supposed to be able to lash onto the edges so that you pull it due to its weird shape. Um, so just let it swing around and get into place. Uh, there's no pressure. Just take this as long as you like. Oh, and what's even more awesome is that, due to the way we pulled it, we're going to land right in the center of the thing. There's something awesome about being able to do that without even planning. So there's the symbol. Uh, you might recognize that that lit up around the Tower of the Gods once the pearls were placed. So I think you're starting to understand that it has some great significance. And there was the threshold that the King of Red Lions was talking about. Underneath the statue of ourselves. So we got a secret room all, all of a sudden. So let's head up there. Of course we gotta take the stairs. And because I was nice I decided to not jump down, I took the stairs there too. Stairs are there for a reason. Although sometimes the reason escapes me. Now this is a really cool room. There's something really awesome up ahead. Hey. Excellent, Jack. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. Now, take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil Spain. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. As you've probably guessed, um, we're gonna say goodbye to our hero sword at this point. It was fun. I liked that sword. Oh, never mind, we still have it! <laughs> I kind of expected it to just disappear. So the Master Sword is pulled out of the pedestal. And then, although this, although this might look like a trap with those knights, it's more like they're kind of like knighting you, saying like, you're the one who's worthy of taking the Master Sword. And the light shines through their swords. It does something. I always thought this was such a cool effect. So the color is returning to the castle. Now that the light is shining through. Somehow that kicks back in the time as well, so unfortunately, we got all these guys running around the place. Well, you know, they're kind of just strolling, but once we come in, they'll be running. <laughs> we'll have them running for their lives. Now we can also see there's many colorful windows in here, which I'll explain later. So this is our new sword. Pretty sweet. You got the Master Sword, a legendary blade with the power to repel evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. 